Hello children, welcome to the next next class, next session. Okay, we'll continue the the intelligent humans. Okay, the intelligent humans. Okay, he the tiger put condition. What condition you know? Those who come on the same way, any three people, you can send me one person for my food. You can go to home. The tiger put condition to the that boy. Then. He, they both on the same day they saw they saw a donkey okay then donkey and then donkey rahul went to donkey and rahul requested okay what he requested like this is the condition i freed the tiger and the tiger is uh, is uh, trying to eat me up is it fair he told then uh, then he told that is it fair then donkey also he explained this very tragedy condition then he told he did not agree to eat the tiger to the donkey next strips licked his lips and got ready to eat rahu okay because donkey did not accept no then uh, um, this one tiger ready to eat the this one rahu he licked 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 means to dry to draw the tongue to draw the tongue okay then wait there's only one out of three people we still have more to re ask cried rahu nervously was nervous okay he was nervously anxiously he was anxious okay then uh, then after that If it is no people, tiger will eat the Rahul. The tiger was ready to eat the Rahul, but Rahul was so anxious. Then strips agreed. They wandered about the about and came to the place where very old horse was laying next to heavily loaded cart. Okay, you know cart, bullock cart. Okay, huh? This is the heavily loaded the cart. Here is a. Cart and here the horse. Okay, then Rahul walked up to her and asked, "Miss Bray, I freed Miss Strips from his cage, and now he wants to eat me up. Is it fair?" Then Miss Bray was barely able to get up because the horse was so tired. Miss Bray here means horse. Okay, her back was aching. Aching, aching, aching means pain. Aching means pain. Her back was paining from dragging heavy load. Horses load load. Even that's why her back become uh, this one pain. She looked up and answered the horse. Uh, answered in a horse horse voice. There was a time when I was free to roam the forest. He explained herself what was his struggle before he was sure that the horse was so free in the forest. The one day my master captured me. He put he put the saddle on my back and a bridle on my mouth. Okay, the seat on the here you can see the horse the seat. Okay, head gear used to control the horse. Then that one that one also he put and he rode me hard. I have cried with children and grandchildren. Father, he left me here without food and water to die. Humans are very cruel. I said, let strips eat you, and that would be the end of this day. Okay. The horse also explained his very tragedy um, situation. Okay, he was so free in the horror forest. Then. His owner came and he put the this one saddles and uh, bridle to control. He was putting heavy load. He was he, that then horse also is not ready to become free to the tiger. Okay, free to the tiger is not ready to ready to die. He did not horse also did not accept. Then Rahul looked at Strips and saw him sharpening his claws. He was the tiger is ready to get ready to kill the boy the Rahul. Okay, he was making like this tiger. 
spoke rapidly. Okay, rapidly. Rapidly means quickly. Quickly. He spoke quickly. Okay, this was my second chance, and there is still one more left. Strip, strips grumbled. Okay, strips grumbled. Grumbled means complain. Grumbled means complain. Huh? Strips grumbled and roared that he was hungry because he lost two choice. Huh? Then he wanted Rahul to put an end to this foolishness. After much discussion, he reluctantly agreed to wait one last time. Okay, then he lost two choice. Huh? Again, he waited. Reluctantly, unwillingly. Reluctantly means reluctantly. Reluctantly means unwillingly. Not willing. Okay, not unwillingly only. Accepted the third chance. Okay, then soon they saw a girl with a pail on her head walking down the road. Ships called out her. Okay, they both Rahul and Tiger was walking on that on that way. They saw a one girl. Okay, ships uh, called out her. Dear child, you are fair of face. What is your name? Quiet ships. My name is Raji, she answered. Okay. It is good to see you, Bo, said the girl. Okay, he, he said to the, the tiger and the Rahu. Strips was pleased and asked Raji, I know you will be fair and just. Rahul freed me from a cage, but I am a tiger and I want to eat me, eat him up. Can I or can't I? Okay, the situation everything told the tiger. Indirectly talk to talk to the girl because Rahu freed the freed the tiger. That's why should I eat the Rahu or not? Ask and uh, this way asking to the that girl. The tiger is asking telling to the that girl. Then excuse me, what did you say? Ask the girl. He asked if it is fair for him to eat me when I have just set him free from his cage. Said totally dejected Rahu. Okay, then Rahul told that why this tiger is uh, eat, 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 eating is ready to eat the Rahu. Okay, because the Rahul freed the tiger from the cage, that's where the tiger is ready to eat the eat the that boy. Then cage? What cage? I don't see any cage. Said Raji, looking around. Cage? Where is cage? I don't see any cage. She was intelligently acting. Okay. Then it is a wooden cage. Cried Rahul anxiously, squeezing his hands. Give us your opinion. Is it fair? They both were asking to the Raji. Okay. Raji was Raji was intelligently act, acting. Okay. Then. After that, Raji acting confused said, I don't see any cage around. I can't understand what the two of you are talking about at all. Okay, Raji intentionally she told, What you are talking, I don't understand. Okay, how can you set him free when he is already free? We are talking about the cage I was in a few moments back. Explain the annoyed strips. Okay, annoyed. Annoyed means slightly angry. Okay. She looked at the strips and asked, I want to understand how you go to the cage in the forest first place. First place. Okay. The Raji couldn't understand what they both were telling. That's why she wants she wants to explain everything very perfectly okay then grrr, said the strips grinding his teeth because the tiger was so ang angry after explaining everything 
these humans are really dumb he thought himself and they began to explain okay then uh, this uh, girl was so ignored she she acting she pretending as if she doesn't anything okay then tiger tell told uh, tell himself that these humans are really dumb okay last night then tiger started to explain last night i came to village to steal a lamb i fell into a trap made by the villagers they put me in the cage this fool freed me when i requested him to do so okay now the tiger explained and entire, entire story everything okay last night she came for hunting in the village in order to eat the lamb then villagers they trap the tiger they put in the cage okay then the tiger requested that boy okay how please free me from this cage i am so thirsty that's why the boy released the tiger from the cage that's what everything she the tiger explained to the explained that girl okay while mr strips was talking raji somehow led the tiger and the boy to the cage okay they were three of them walking and listening whatever that what uh, whatever it was explaining she took over let's start from the beginning how did you come here she asked rahul okay raji asked the rahul how did you come here in the forest okay i walked down this little path said rahul okay he was going down on the forest then and mrs St mr strips where were you at the time asked the raj here inside the cage of course replied the strips okay the raj was asking questions to the rahul and as well as strips tiger where were you both both of them at the time no i didn't this i i don't think this cage is a big enough for you Why don't you show me how you managed to get into that small cage with your huge body? Asked Raji with innocent, in innocent look. Okay. In order to divert the tiger, she asked, "How could you enter that small cage? Your huge body, no? Tiger is huge body, no? How to, how could you maintain to enter that cage? Okay. Innocently she was asking to the tiger." i will show you set strips and enter the cage he continued i was sitting here when rahul came by ah that's where you that's where you were but your paws can reach out outside outside the cage so why did you come out yourself as raji i couldn't as the door was locked up set strips excuse me said raji looking sustably stupid being human and very stupid i can't imagine it can you show me how it works okay then the, the raji was asking questions i will show you okay i will show you the cage and everything how it happened okay then then uh, tiger himself said that being a human and very stupid i can't imagine it can you show me how it works okay they wanted to um, make a trial how they the tiger went inside how this boy closed that uh, so, sir how is that boy open that okay like that she had she made idea okay she made idea in order to trap the tiger inside the cage okay rahul pushed the door and said like this and he locked and the and the lock as raji look here and observe how how to lock how to lock the door how to lock the door cried rahul as he shut and bolted the door okay he was showing to that girl how i how i open like that okay tiger went, went inside the cage and they put the bolt okay they put in the cage the tiger so that said said the raj so that said said the raj raj clapping her hands raj clapping her hands it does lock the door tightly and and now rahul as the door is locked i suggest it says and it stays locked as for you mr sips you have been very wicked wicked
Wicked means morally wrong. Morally wrong. Okay, morally wrong. Then says this. Raji took. Okay, they were telling to the uh, tiger, "You wicked. You are ungrateful, and you are morally wrong." Okay, I hope. You stay locked up for a very long time. You stay in this cage only. Don't come out like that. Saying this, Raji took Rahu's arm and led him away, leaving Mr. Strips and said, "I'm confused." Okay. Huh? The next class, I'll ask the cross questions. You have to answer. By the time you have to repeat the vocabulary. Okay, you have to repeat the some vocabulary. I write on the board. Then we'll repeat it. Okay. Then trap, caught in a trick, pounce, leap, snail, growl. I repeat. You repeat me afterwards. Okay. Lick, lick to draw the tongue. Nervously, anxiously, acting, paying, rapidly, quickly, grumble, complain, reluctantly, unwilling, annoyed, slightly angry. Wicked, morally wrong, trapped, caught in a tree, pounce, leap, snake, growl, horrible, terrible, dejected, very sad. Okay, okay, children. Your next, you have to learn these difficult words and with meanings. Okay, write in um, classwork. Okay, classwork. In the class work, you write and learn once. Okay, okay, children. From this lesson, the intelligent human. What did you learn? The humans. Not only the animals are intelligent. Humans also intelligent. Okay, how she very intelligently acted. No, how they escaped from the that that crooked and cruel animal, isn't it? Okay. Next class. Don't forget to write five five times in your class work. And learn the meanings. Next class, we will meet in cross questions. Okay? Have a nice day. Thank you. Good morning, children. How are you all? Welcome to the next session. We have learned the previous lesson, the intelligent human. Okay? In that, we shall learn the language skill. Okay? We shall learn the language skill. Out of this three sentence, I am so thirsty. Which? My name is Raji. Which of these about the dogs from the story makes sense? The first one and the last one makes sense because because they have subject and predicate. I am is a subject. I thirsty. I so thirsty is a predicate. My name is subject. Is Raji is a predicate. Understood. The subject is the doer of the action. It may be a noun or a pronoun. Understood. Okay. The name of the person or the thing we speak about is called subject. What is subject? Subject I know. The subject is is the doer. Of the action. Okay, I am. We say that subject does something to the verb. 
Okay, the subject is a does. Does of the action. The subject is doing the verb. Okay, understood? Okay, the name of the person or thing we speak about the called the subject. Here the subject is the doer of the action. Okay, it may be a noun or pronoun. Is a noun. Maybe pronoun. He or she or it. Okay. Next, Rahul lived in a small village. He freed a tiger. Raji helped Rahul. Understood? In every subject there will be subject will be the predicate. It gives sense. It's called subject. Okay. What is subject? The the doer of the action. Subject is the doer of the action. Okay. The subject is the doer of the action. Next. The predicate. The predicate in a sentence express express what is subject does. It also informs us about the relation between the subject and the action performed. Okay. Let us next learn the predicate. What is predicate? To express what the subject what the subject does okay to express the what the subject does mr bray looked up mr bray looked up example okay this is all example Understood? Okay. Predicate is predicate. Is predicate in a sentence express that what is subject does. Okay. What is subject does? It also inform us about the relation between subject and action performed. Subject and action performed. The predicate includes only verb. Okay. The predicate includes only verb. Mr. Bray. Look up. Okay, huh? this is only predicate. It sentence it express only express only predicate. Miss Mary pulled a car. I came to steal a lamb. In this sentence, okay, in this sentence informs us about the relation between subject and the action performed. Okay, this is subject. This is predicate. It, it shows the relation between subject and predicate. That's it. The predicate is a main here. Okay. Huh? Next. Now it is time to learn about the two basic and important units of a sentence called clause and phrase. Clause and phrase. Before that, I will teach you some yeah, exercise for the subject and predicate. Remember, remember children, you have to understand in the subject, the doer of the action is a, the subject is a doer of the action. Okay, the subject is a doer of the action, action is a called subject. Okay, predicate, predicate express the action between subject and relation between the subject and verb. Understand, it is called predicate. Okay, huh? one more thing, predicate can start from verb always. Predicate, remember, predicate always start from the verb. Okay. Okay, in this 
you have to identify the subject and predicate understood as i told subject always starts from pronoun noun or pronoun okay predicate start from verbs okay i am is a subject very hungry is a predicate lee is a lee is a subject and uh, is so what that we have now is a predicate the moon is a subject the shining brightly is a predicate understood now okay what is subject what is subject subject is a doer of the action predicate predicate is a shows relation between verb it verb and subject and verb relation between subject and verb subject and the action perform the relation between subject and action perform now let us learn the what is a clause what is a phrase what is a clause what is a phrase
phrase. Okay, it does not have this not group of so words, but it does not contain subject and predicate. Subject and predicate it does not have subject and predicate. It makes any sense on its own. Okay, does not make. It doesn't make any sense, any sense, any meaning. It doesn't give. It has to be combined with the clause to make complete sentence. Okay. It has to make It has to combine It has to combine with a clause with a clause to make complete sentence. To make complete sense. Okay. For example, the reason thus I was standing by the wall. I was standing by the wall. Okay. I was standing by the wall. Only if I give I was standing. If you remove this one, does it give me? Does it give me? Okay. See the underlying part of the each of the following sentence shows a clause. The, 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 I was starting to give a uh, meaning while the non-underlying, non-underlying part of the same sentence shows a phrase. It does not doesn't give by the wall. Okay. They are singing a loud voice. A loud voice. They are singing. It gives the meaning because there is a subject. Uh, R is singing is a predicate. Whereas only loud voice doesn't give the meaning. Is it? It's called phrase. Okay, erased the school in time. Erased. E subject is a predicate. Erased. We everybody can understand. What about other? The school in time. The school in time. Only if you speak the about only the school in time, nobody will understand. It is called as a phrase. Okay. A clause may be a complete sentence in itself or it may form a part of sentence. Okay. Then next uh, we will we'll, we'll meet in the okay. Now I'll give you some examples for the clause and phrase. You have to do do it homework. Okay. Okay, children. He was eating a macaron sandwich. He was eating macaron sandwich. What, what, what kind of sentence it is? It is a clause because subject is a verb is a. It gives meaning. Okay, it gives meaning. Understood. Whereas Phrase. Okay. Whereas phrase does not give the meaning. Okay. Whereas the phrase does not give the meaning. He was eating a backbone sandwich. Okay. Eating. Eating backbone sandwich. This is phrase. 
It's a group of words, but can be less than contain subject and predicate. You take sandwich. More understand. Understood? Okay. Next class we'll we'll explain about the main clause and subordinate clause. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.